What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna be working on the Samsung LED LCD screen TV. It's an LED backlit TV that has an LCD screen. The model number for the Samsung TV is UN50H5203AF. This has no picture. Got this TV from my brother who does home theater. If you're interested in getting free broken TVs, you could check uh, Craigslist and you could contact your local TV home theater installer and work out a deal with them because I'm sure they get a lot of broken TVs. If you guys like TV repair or electronic repair videos, uh, give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys are interested in these types of videos. I'll produce more of them. All right, so when I plug it in and hit the power button, Let's see if we get a backlight glow. So I'm gonna flip it around. All right. And let's check it out. Let me turn off the light so we can we can see the backlight. All right. And so when I hit volume up and volume down, channel up, channel down, nothing on the screen shows up. I think I accidentally turned it off. But anyhow, um, yeah, so I turned it back on. You can see the back backlight glow, no problem. There is an LED light that uh, flickers. Let me go ahead and show you that. So when I hit volume up, volume down, there is logic there. So I'm thinking that the logic board, the main logic board is okay and the LED strips look pretty good. I don't see any dark shadows on the screen, so I think the LED strips, all of them are good. If you see dark shadows, that means you might have a bad LED strip in the backlight circuit. So I'll squeeze the tabs and then release. We have the power board, which uh, the power cord plugs into the power board and that converts AC volts to DC volts. You don't see the LED backlight driver board is because that's built into the power board and this wire goes to the LED strips. And then this wire sends the standby voltage to the main logic board. The main logic board controls the on, off, volume up, volume down, channel, video, audio functions. That is connected to the TCOM board with this ribbon cable connection or cable right here. And this is the TCOM board that is connected to the LCD screen. And that gives you the picture. So, and these of course is speakers. So let's go ahead and open it up and we're gonna read some voltages, troubleshoot. Actually, we're gonna turn it on and see if we have a backlight that's, you know, everything's glowing properly. Uh, and plug this in. Now use caution, you can get shocked touching this stuff. So be warned. All right, go ahead and turn off the lights in the room. And as you can see, everything is glowing. All parts of the backlight is glowing. So if you see a dark spot, you could have a bad LED strip. And I made a video how to swap out LED strips. I also made a video how to replace the LEDs on the LED strips. Now, I, I did a video how to read voltages on the TCOM board. It's fairly easy. You just find a ground. So a ground source it could be right here. The chassis of the TV is a good ground source. Now, because we have a standby light, I'm assuming that the T, um, power supply board is working good. And we're going to check the voltages on the TCOM board. This is the voltage coming from the main logic board to the TCOM board. And that voltage looks good. And it's solid. It's not jumping up and down. Okay. So that looks fine. Now I'm also going to check the vol uh, voltage on going to the LCD screen. And this is pin 60. It says 60. And this is pin 1 right here. It says one so that's a ground 
and we have very little voltage on pin 60 really low voltage almost zero volts so the TCOM board is getting voltage and it's not outputting the proper voltage going to the LCD screen so I'm assuming that the TCOM board is bad so I'm just gonna contact shop shopjimmy.com or electropartsonline.com all right so I'm gonna order the board and I'm gonna use a sticker number right here sometimes the printed number isn't the accurate most accurate number they really want that uh, sticker number on these boards so if you're calling in make sure you give them the sticker number if they say hey give me a different number then give them the printed number on the board I'm gonna remove the TCOM board unplug the power cord remove these latches by lifting up using a thumbnail remove that and then squeeze and then wiggle that off never pull on the wires or the cable because you'll destroy the cable sometimes you gotta push it back in and then release there we go now anytime reading small very tiny test points on the circuit board I highly recommend using these probes and these are very sharp and they really do help you know reading parts like on an IC and, or um, on a ribbon cable connection so check them out so if you guys are interested in that uh, part two video give me a thumbs up post a comment below and if you want if you know anyone that has a broken Samsung TV that has no picture go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them help someone out and if you want to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more tech videos like this by clicking on this link or the subscribe button down below you know what to do and if you want to check out my other TV repairs click on this playlist link right here thanks guys for watching bye